England has long been famous for its educational establishments, for the freedom of choice of schools, and for their political and social toleration. But here's a boarding school where youth is not merely allowed, but encouraged to have its fling. The headmaster believes that every child should first find himself. Education can come later. And since the headmaster of this Hertfordshire school is a Cambridge MA, he should know what he's talking about. Burgess Hill School is against the carbon copy boarding school product. It does what it can to help each child's personality to develop. There's no detached attitude towards small boys who can't really cope with arithmetic. Instead, master and pupil sit down and discuss the problem like rational human beings. The right sort of education will channel a child's vitality into creative activities. This sort of painting may be a bit strange, but at least she's having fun. They all seem to enjoy art classes, which perhaps isn't surprising since most of the children come from artistic homes. The staff of the school believe that if you blindly forbid children to do something, then they will certainly revolt. The answer is to allow them to find out for themselves whether these conventions are good or bad. Besides which, smoking calms the nerves. The headmaster, Mr. Jimmy East, is a product of one of our more famous public schools. But he looks back on his unhappy childhood, determined to make the development of today's pupils less of an ordeal. They can come and talk to him at any time. His door is always open. And if they don't want to talk, then the children will want to use the record player. Sometimes it can be a bit tiresome when exercises must be marked, so Jimmy changes the disc. Off comes jazz, on goes Elgar. Are adults apt to attach too much importance to children's table manners? Eating should be a pleasant occupation instead of a tiresome task. At the school, meals are one of the principal times for getting together, a time for talking and relaxation. There's little place for tradition here, they say, because tradition means clinging to the dead past. Attitudes and values should change naturally. All around Burgess Hill School are woods and extensive grounds. Here, without danger or worry to anyone, the youngsters run and play. At this age, they develop fast. Their muscles grow stronger. They're eager to take risks and test their strength. This, for instance, requires courage, but only for the first time. After that, it's easy. An important lesson for a child. Self-expression is, of course, but one of the descriptions applied to this type of school. So, drama lessons rate high in the syllabus. The drama teacher takes the lead by demonstrating method acting. The pupils make up the story, which enables them to develop both imagination and that rare ability to stand up without shyness in front of an audience. This unusual school claims successes which bear out the headmaster's attitude to developing youngsters. Of course, other pupils don't always have the same interests. Teenagers, whether they attend secondary modern, grammar or boarding schools, must dance. And of course, the Burgess Hill exponents are tops. Dressed in beat uniform, leather jackets and the rest, they rarely go to town with the new chubby checker disc. What kind of education do the pupils get here? The answer is best supplied by one of the pupils who says, we learn no more than we would at an ordinary school. But there are compensations, like being happy. Like being happy? Well, we wonder. 